Hello YouTube, welcome back to Let's Play Wings Over Flanders Fields. I'm Rick Rawlings and we are moving on to mission number 10. So we are flying in the French Air Service, Escadrille 38. Our pilot's name is Jean-Louis Chenchat. And let's take a look and see how we're doing here. We've flown nine missions. Nine missions that we personally have flown. He would have flown a lot more missions uh, then we flew, we just kind of sit in for the exciting ones. Currently has 10 confirmed kills, so he's a double ace. Let's see. So last mission we uh, went over the lines, didn't really run into anybody except one recon craft, which my uh, wingman shot down. I'm going to advance time a little bit here, as we usually do. Okay, we got some machines back. That's good. Ooh, the triplanes are coming in. Won't really probably see much of those down here. They're more up towards the channel with the Brits. The Brigades coming in hopefully all right so B flight today looks like it's uh, four pilots let's see if we get one or if it's gonna be a, a weather washout all right the 23rd of April 1917 looks like we're doing another airfield attack special assignment uh, Mars Sue Bork 24 miles, 48 miles round trip. Quite a jaunt back there. I think that was one of the ones we went and harassed the other day to no avail. Nobody was there. Let's see what, uh, I, think, I wonder if A flight is. You know, okay, so A flight's going to be providing some top cover for us. So they've got four pilots as well. So we've got a total of eight planes going over. That should help. Let's take a look at the loadouts. So we'll get everybody down to maybe 84. Five. Now we'll go with 80, that's good. And we're going to add rockets, otherwise we're not going to be doing much damage to the airfield. We probably won't do much damage to the airfield anyway, it's pretty tough to, to get credit for that, but we'll try. Um, I think that's pretty much everything, so it's pretty much due north. Right here. So, climb. Waypoint 1. Our sort of uh, muster point, and then we come back and then zip right back across the front. So we'll go to the field and I'll see you there. All right, here we are at the field. We've got a couple sets of planes going over. Everybody's friendly though, so that's cool. Uh, we're going to turn the engine on. I think, I actually think that for some reason there's always like a, once you have a set of planes going over, they, it's the same set that goes over for a while. This is how the mission generation works. But maybe not. So we got our rockets. On there. And everybody agree that the engine is run up. Here we go. Reassuring sight having so many imports taken off with me. Okay, we get our mixture all squared away here. There's the dip. Notch it back a little bit. balloon. Alright, we're going to muster up our forces, head off to the front, 
pick you up there as we're getting ready to scoot across the lines. Here we are at the front. Uh, uneventful so far. We're going to cross at altitude so that Archie has a much harder time disrupting our party. A flight, yeah, A flight's right there ahead of us, just my wing is kind of in the way. So that's pretty good. We've got <laughs> about a close cover as you can. I should, shouldn't get too high. Mess up their formation. So the deal is we're going to skirt across the lines, probably uh, descend a little bit, head for the airfield, and then cause some mischief. So I'll bring you back if anything happens before then, otherwise you'll rejoin us as we are approaching our target. Welcome back. We are approaching the airfields at uh, intermediate altitude, somewhere under the clouds there, but not super low, so the ground fire has an easy job. We have to skirt this airfield and then come around. The other airfield we want is over this way. So we're going to skirt this one and hopefully not take any flak bursts. Uh oh. Somebody's. Oh, yeah, look at this guy. Going crazy over a recon plane. I suppose if you're not paying attention, you can still get shot down by a recon plane. For those guys. Not happy circling around with all the flack though. Let's see. I'm sure there's nobody else besides him. Pass all albatross is someplace I'd be worried. This guy not so much. as always. That's not going to work. Anybody else a chance? down or he's running out of I guess he's not going out. He's running out of maneuvering room at any rate.
bullet striking me? Did that guy bullet strike me from over there? I don't think so. Yeah, I think for the last video, maybe you remember about, we were talking about aimbot, recon craft. This guy's like, Olympic. spiraling down. Is he gonna pull out of that? Or is he gonna crash? He's gonna crash. Alright. Now, let's actually go over to the airfield that we really want to be at, which is the other one. Serves you right from shooting at me in a downward spiral. Okay. Let's see where that guy is. What am I looking for? Another airfield. Oh. Close. Close Archie burst. to the east. Let me see how I'm going north, which is of course not east. So I went and found my keyboard commands, which is not in the folder you would think it would be. I don't remember which folder it's actually in. So I can hopefully order my team to attack. What is that? Structure. Farm building. Tented hangar. I'm going to attack a structure, which I think is going to be the... Whoops. Attack. Wait, what's, it, what's ordering them to attack? where the field is. Where is he? Ugh. Of course. Is this another another two seater? another two-seater. Something two-seat-ish to be doing. Look at this guy. I don't 
like Immelman's and stuff. That's crazy. Well, I just really want to be attacking that airfield. Where are you? Oh, you did not hit me from there. guy alone for a minute, I think. Do my airfield attack, at least. He did slightly nick me. Rockets are primed. Big building. get out of the range of fire of the airfield. I don't think I did much in the way of damage, did I? Well, maybe. Maybe that building, is that building still there? I don't know. I guess it is still there. Get away to the south a little bit. Let's see if I see where anybody else is. If you can read my screen, I'm at 95% health. I took a took a little nick there. It says you're losing blood, but in my experience, 95% represents a, like a sort of minor wound, so you're pretty much okay as long as you look at this guy. Can you believe that guy? That two-seat observer singing me like that? So I should be okay. I am going to head back. <laughs> look at all those 
to add my number, man. Join the Olympics. I don't see any of my, I think my other guys probably all headed out. So I am going to do the same. Head back for the front lines. Uh, if nothing happens between here and the field, I'll see you then. Otherwise, we'll come back. Okay, so we got diverted to an alternate field, which is fine with me since I got cracked in the noggin apparently and then uh, need a little bit of medical attention, so we'll stop and get this looked at before we make our way back to the Noblet Farm. I see several other uh, aircraft on the field here, so I'm hoping that's the rest of my flight because I didn't link up with anybody. So, a oh, oh, little soon, a little soon. Too early last time, too soon this time. There we go. Right here would be good. Oh yeah, we got some guys here. Take a look at the old plane and see, like, look at this. Bullet holes there, I've got my windshield, my goggle, They're cracked. What else we got going on here? Let's the old exterior. So we got a few here on the wing, a few there on that wing. Other than that, that guy was like shooting for my face. <laughs> All right, let's go see what uh, what happened here. All right, for the squadron debrief, 61 minutes. Uh, get ready for your next sortie. Congratulations on your claim. So we got the first two-seater, the other one hit us but um, not enough to have to go to the hospital we'll probably be shook up we'll see four machines took off four machines landed safely the enemy airfield was not damaged great so yep yeah, shook up it's usually what happens when you get a 90 or 95 percent wounding or you're only five percent off ten percent off so i did get 18 hits with my rockets but not enough to um, permanently damage a building and look it's given us credit for both two-seat planes but I'm only gonna claim one because I left before the other one crashed uh, 56 hits out of 375 fired all right let me go make my claims here so we're gonna say Madone I guess will be our witness even though I think they just kind of split and head out and I believe the I think they're all DFW CVs, and I'm terrible with German recon craft, but I think that's the only thing in this part of the front. So let me type this up, and then as usual, I'll bring you back so you don't have to watch my horrible typing skills. Okay, there we got that in. Let's click done. Claim completed. Let's see what we've got. Uh, my, sure, my plane's probably going to take some time to fix. Or maybe it's just all in my head. All the bullets hit my head. <laughs> Battle of Rosnaville is still ranging. So it's still the 24th. Still April. Bloody April. Victory confirmed. Nice. That was quick. Didn't waste any time on that one. Oh yeah, the solitary hunter is fading fast. Let's take a look and see how we're doing here. So our 11th confirmed. Let's see if there's anything interesting on this guy. 
the remarks. FAA 290 BC. German Airmen. All right, so there's Wings Over Flanders Fields. Uh, let's play flight number 10. Took a little bit of a shot to the head there, but we're okay. Hopefully you'll be back for us for flight number 11. See you soon. Uh, this is Rick Rawlings, and thanks for watching.